Alright guys, today I got a fun little video here for you. I'm going to show you, this is going to be a throwback video, I'm going to show you guys the Droid Incredible, HTC Droid Incredible, and we're going to put KitKat on this baby. So that's going to be CM11 is what we're actually going to do, Sidejamon11. So uh, first things first, you guys are going to want to download the files you want. I don't know if this thing even has a file browser on it on stock. Um... You know, I don't really see it. I would normally show you guys the files. But um, you're going to want to have, obviously, the ROM, SideGenMod 11 ROM, and the Google applications for it. I'll give you guys links to the thread on XDA where I've got the information for this. This is actually done by one of my buddies, Zach. He actually went ahead and got this thing all set up to run KitKat on the HTC Droid Incredible. So big props to him. And we're going to show you guys how to install this ROM. Um, prerequisites for this thing are going to be you're going to have some kind of recovery installed either Torp recovery or Clockwork Mod recovery and other than that um, any of the stuff that you want to do on this this device I have videos for it I've done probably 10 videos on this thing so check those out for getting H-boot like S off, S on, all that kind of good stuff um, set up so we're just going to go ahead and actually just go right into recovery and the easiest way I found to get into recovery on this device is just to pull the back off, pull the battery out really quick, just so you don't have to wait for it to power down. Hold the uh, volume down button, so hold volume down, and hold power, and you're going to get into this screen. This is H boot, and important things to note that it is unlocked. That's what you want. Um, like I said, I have right here Droid Incredible. It ships says S off is on mine right now. So once you go ahead and get in here just scroll down with volume to recovery and then power to select it and this should boot you into recovery. Um, like I said I actually am going to be using here Twerp Recovery or Team Win Recovery Project. Um, it's my preferred recovery method. I really like using it and we'll use that to install these two zip files for flashing this ROM over. Um, should be very very simple. It's not a very big file. Both these downloaded on my computer in like a minute. So, um, very nice. Transfer them over with the USB cable to the device or on the micro SD card. I think that's where mine are stored anyway. Uh, micro SD card, and then boom. Boot into Twerp, and we'll flash this over and check it out once it boots up. Twerp does take a little bit to boot. There it goes. First thing you're going to want to do, obviously, is probably make some kind of backup by going here, selecting everything, swiping across to do it. I'm not going to do that because I already have one here of stock system. So, that's good enough for me. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go into wipes and just swipe across to go ahead and wipe the current ROM whether you're running a custom ROM or you're running stock doesn't matter you just want to wipe all that off and get a clean uh, system to work with. Almost done. Go back, go back and then we're going to go to installs and I gotta find my storage so I think I'm on, I think I'm on this SD card well, no, it's got to be on this one. Let's find it. I'm not sure which one I'm actually on, technically. We'll go back, actually. Let's see what we got here. Well, you know, it is right here, I think. Downloads? Yeah, there it is. So, um, basically, CM11. So you're going to select that one. Make sure it's listed. Add a file. Select the GAPS Core 4.4.2 signed zip. And again, these are both going to be um, on the form on XDA and you'll be able to get them and then just slide across and it will flash both of those files for you. Flashing should be fairly quick. I'm used to running a lot faster devices. Like, devices. like I said, this is really a throwback video um, for this device, but it's just really cool that it actually gets KitKat being as this device, I was it, over two years, three years old? I mean, it's a pretty old device. Um, so it's going to be really neat to get KitKat on it. Obviously, you always want to make sure you have good battery life. I got 67% according to uh, Team Win Recovery Project. But let's go ahead and let this flash. And as soon as it flashes, I'll keep going. It might take a little bit. Like I said, normally this file would take like 10 seconds to flash on a you know, quad-core processor or something like that. All right, so the ROM's done. It's actually just uh, copying over the uh, gaps right now. So it should be done pretty much any second here. Normally, the gaps is a very, very small file. So 
I think you're basically getting when it's the core gaps you're basically getting some core uh, Google application features um, and probably the store you're probably not even getting you know Gmail or any of that kind of stuff Chrome or any of that it's just very basic because this phone has got small storage spot space on it so you gotta get the bare minimum when you're setting these ROMs up okay so that's done we can go ahead and hit reboot system now let's uh, take a quick gander here at the Sage and Mod 11 and boot animation hopefully it'll come up you know there's your HTC boot logo that's standard and then the animation should be next I don't know I'm gonna say because of this old oh, is an older phone um, I've been saying now about five minutes on boot up for first boot up on a round flash but because it's an older phone I would probably go back to that 10 minute boot up um, so give this thing 10 minutes for first boot after it boots that first time, probably let it sit for 10 minutes, and then do a reboot, and then you'll be probably booting in a couple, you know, maybe a minute or so after that. Um, so I'm going to let this thing boot up here, let it spin with the cool new Sygen Mod 11 boot animation, and when we comes back, we'll, we'll go ahead and shoot through some stuff and show you guys this CM11 ROM on the Droid Incredible by HTC. Alright guys, here we go. This is the first screen you're going to see as uh, CM11 boots up. So just pick your language. You can skip the Sajamon account setup. If you have it, it you can use it, but uh, you, you don't have to use it. Uh, Google account, I'm actually going to skip this also just for right now. Just so we can get into the ROM and show you uh, the basic stuff in here. So this is location stuff. That's pre-checked. That's cool with me. Go next. I'm just going to leave it as it is. Finish. And let's see what we got here. Okay. Yeah, this is your launcher little stuff. Very, very good. Unfortunately, Trebuchet has stopped. It's not a big deal because uh, they're not really using Trebuchet, I don't think, here anyway. So this is like Launcher 3 or Google Launcher. I'm not sure which it is. Um, so anyway, there you go. You can see you got size and mount running. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and check out the features. These are your two screens. Pretty, pretty basic stuff here. Um, here's your application. So like I said, the only real application you're really getting from the gaps here is the Play Store. That's pretty much it. You can see you got DSP Manager, you have a camera in here, clock, all these kind of goodies, Torch is in there. But it's very, very minimal. You can install more, um, more apps, obviously, but this is the basic look for it. Now you can see that there's no widgets here. And that is just because on this style launcher, you have to hold down and then go to widgets, and then you can get to all of your widgets. Um, so it's just different. Just be aware of that when you go to the app drawer. That's not how you access widgets. Um, so let's check out settings, and let's actually go to about phone really quick. There you go, you can see it is 4.4.2 KitKat, and we're actually going to see if it has the Easter egg. So it does have the Easter egg, and then Android 4.4 KitKat. Very cool. Get right out of it. Whoa! So you can see these are all the Easter eggs in um, KitKat, which is pretty sweet. Got some different information about memory and things like that. Um, now, because this is KitKat, it can run on less RAM, which is really nice. So this should still run very smooth. I mean, so far, you can see it's been very, very smooth for me. Um, you do have SuperSoup built in right there. And then um, the rest of this is pretty standard. These are things I'd probably point out would be your themes. You should obviously be able to download themes for CM11, CM10, probably would work too. And apply themes, which is really cool through there. You can go to lock screen features and adjust all kinds of different fun stuff here for your lock screen. And you have interface. Status bar is probably going to be one of my favorite things. So it says um, show battery percentage. I always like that. So now it tells me the percentage in that circle. Very small, hard to see, but it is there. Um, and all those fun little tweaks you can do here. Expand desktop. Um, quick panel settings. And all of its pull downs and different stuff you can add in to check that out. So, let's also go ahead and show you that. Here you go, you can see your battery, all these kind of goodies in here, Wi-Fi, all that. You can uh, edit your tile layout and add a tile. So, ADB over network, that's pretty cool. Camera, 
sound, volume, Wi-Fi AP, which would be your uh, Wi-Fi hotspot. Right there, have a little toggle for that already in it. So very, very cool. Uh, definitely a nice, uh, smooth running, clean looking ROM here. Side Jamon 11 over here to the HTC Droid Incredible. Again, huge props to Zach for putting this together um, and getting it working on this device. This is awesome to see KitKat on such an old device. Just, just very, very cool. That's going to be it, guys. That's all I got for you here today, and we'll catch you in the next one. Root Junkie out.